is the issue at stake here the fact that Mr. Matthews has dual citizenship or is it the fact that for some reason in the employment process this was not disclosed? For South Africans looking on at the monumental problems that Prasa faces and the litany of allegations against the parastatal for uh, uh, the, the poor deployment of public resources, many would say this is a relatively <coughs> minor thing. It is not, Rajon. Every employee owes its fiduciary duty to the employer. Yes. In the main, what has to happen is that once the employment relationship is established between the employee and the employer, a duty to make a, a, a full disclosure by the employee to the employer uh, arises. Yes. In this particular instance, you will recall Mr. Matthews was employed from March of this year by Prasa. In the letter of his employment, there were conditions or requirements that he had to satisfy for his contract to be permanent. One of them was to obtain a positive security clearance from the state security agency. The second was probation, that he has to perform his duties as per the performance contract and, 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 and the likes. What then happens is, on the 5th of May this year, Mr. Matthews was interviewed by the state security. He was confronted with the issue of citizenship. Right. Which he ultimately considered that indeed it is. On the 8th of May, Mr. Matthews filled in a form of disclosure where at when he is asked to disclose his nationality, Mr. Matthews deliberately concealed his nationality, meaning the second nationality that is, he has all citizenship, that of the United Kingdom. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.